Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're returning, welcome back. I make videos about motorbikes with a focus on the Kawasaki W800. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video. If you're a fan of the Kawasaki W800, or if you're just curious about this amazing motorcycle, then you've come to the right place. On my channel, I share all sorts of videos about the W800, including reviews, modifications, writing videos, and my love for this wonderfully engineered and beautiful retro motorcycle. Today I'm talking about riding in New England during autumn. Seeing New England in autumn from a motorcycle is everything you can experience in a car, and then some too. The smells, the feeling of the temperature changes, the wind through the mountains and the forests, along with being able to see all around you at all times, really makes this an incredible time to ride a motorcycle in New England. Dressing for the occasion will be one of the most important things. The average high temperature in Vermont's Northeast Kingdom in late September is in the mid-60s. For example, the average high temperature in Newport, Vermont in late September is 69 degrees Fahrenheit, and the average temperature in early October is 63 degrees Fahrenheit. It can get much colder than that. However, the Northeast Kingdom is known for its unpredictable weather, so it is important to be prepared for anything when visiting during the fall. It is not uncommon for temperatures to drop into the 40s or even 30s at night, even in late September. It is also important to be prepared for rain, as the Northeast Kingdom receives an average of 40 to 60 inches of precipitation per year. Here are some tips for dressing for the weather in Vermont's Northeast Kingdom in late September and early October. Dress in layers so that you can adjust to the changing temperatures. Have a waterproof jacket and rain pants to stay dry in case of rain. Wear comfortable shoes that can handle a variety of terrain if you plan on getting off your bike. Bring a hat and gloves to keep your head and hands warm in the cool weather if you're off the bike. You may even want to consider a heated vest and gloves if your bike doesn't have heated grips and seat. For the W800, I have a fly screen, which looks fabulous. It just doesn't do anything meaningful to block the wind. So a super important thing I do is make sure that the layers and jacket I wear is not just insulated, but has a weather flap up to the front zipper, which doesn't allow the cold air to just flow through. I'm surprised how many motorcycle jackets don't have a weather flap, which I guess only becomes an issue at speed and without a windscreen. Be ready to pull off and take photographs. It's incredibly easy to find amazing shots. Just be sure not to block traffic. Vermonters tend to get a tiny bit cranky when leaf peepers are messing up the traffic while enjoying our gorgeous, brave little state's beautiful autumn foliage. Sometimes it's easier to have your footage on your action camera and then remove stills off of that footage when there isn't a good place to pull off and out of traffic safely. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. I also appreciate it if you could share the video with your friends and family who may also like retro bikes and the W800 specifically. As a closing note, I asked Bard AI from Google why autumn in New England is different than the rest of the United States, and this is what it said. Autumn in New England is different than the rest of the United States for a number of reasons, including Geography, New England is located in the northeasternmost corner of the United States, and it is bordered by Canada to the north and the Atlantic Ocean to the east. This geographic location makes New England more susceptible to cold air masses from Canada, which can lead to earlier and more severe autumn weather. Climate, New England has a humid continental climate, with warm summers and cold winters. This type of climate is characterized by a large seasonal temperature variation, which contributes to the vibrant fall foliage. Tree species, New England is home to a variety of tree species that are known for their beautiful fall foliage, such as maple, oak, and birch trees. These trees produce a variety of pigments that are responsible for the vibrant red, orange, and yellow colors of autumn leaves. Weather conditions, the ideal weather conditions for fall foliage include cool nights, sunny days, and light rain. New England often experiences these conditions in the fall, which helps to produce the region's spectacular fall foliage. In addition to these factors, New England also has a long history of autumnal celebrations. The region's many festivals and events celebrate the harvest season and the changing of the leaves. This cultural significance adds to the allure of autumn in New England. 
As a result of all of these factors, autumn in New England is a truly unique and special experience. Visitors from all over the world come to the region to see the vibrant fall foliage, enjoy the crisp autumn air, and experience the region's many autumnal traditions. Here are some tips for planning a fall foliage trip to New England. Choose the right time of year. The best time to see the fall foliage in New England is typically from late September to early October. However, the timing can vary depending on the weather conditions. It is a good idea to check the fall foliage forecast before planning your trip. Plan your route. There are many scenic routes in New England that offer stunning views of the fall foliage. Some popular routes include the Kankamagas Highway in New Hampshire, the Mohawk Trail in Massachusetts, and the Route 100 Corridor in Vermont. Make reservations. New England is a popular tourist destination in the fall, so it is important to make reservations for hotels and restaurants in advance. Be prepared for the weather. The weather in New England can be unpredictable in the fall, so it is important to be prepared for all types of conditions. Be sure to pack layers of clothing, an umbrella, and rain gear. With its stunning fall foliage displays and rich autumnal traditions, New England is a must-visit destination for anyone who loves the fall season. Thank you.